Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about a different type of bacteria that is a different kingdom uh, of Monera which are known as Archibacteria. So first we will try to introduce what is Archibacteria. So Archibacteria they are considered as one of the most primitive type of prokaryotes. So what do we mean by primitive type of prokaryotes? That means they are considered as one of the earliest forms of prokaryotes that have evolved on earth. So actually it is believed that these Archibacteria they came into life or they came on earth just after the origin of life. So it is considered as one of the most primitive type of prokaryotes. Now they do not have peptidoglycan in their cell wall as compared to other types of bacteria which have peptidoglycan in their cell wall. These archaebacteria do not have peptidoglycan. So they may have proteins and non-cellulosic non polysaccharides in their cell wall but peptidoglycan is absent. They have a monolayer of branch chain lipids which is present in the cell membrane. So cell membrane have a monolayer of branched chain lipids. Very important point of Archibacteria, a characteristic of Archibacteria is that they can live under extremely harsh conditions. So what do we mean by extremely harsh conditions or what are the examples of such conditions? For example, very high salt concentrations, very high temperature, temperature of about 80 degree centigrade which may be found in hot sulphur springs. So these type of harsh conditions and even including high pH or very low pH, pH as low as 2. So these are very harsh conditions in which normally other bacteria would not have survived. But these Archibacteria, they can easily survive in these type of harsh conditions. Now they can be obligate anaerobes or they can also be facultative anaerobes. So first what do we mean by obligate anaerobes? Obligate anaerobes are those type of bacteria that is they have, they cannot tolerate the presence of oxygen. So they will survive only under anaerobic conditions. If there is presence of oxygen in the environment, so they will die. An example of such kind of bacteria like obligate anaerobes are methanogens. Now what is facultatively anaerobe? So these are the type of bacteria which can tolerate anaerobic conditions and they can survive comfortably. For example, thermoacidophiles. So we took a note on what are obligate anaerobes and facultative anaerobes. Now they are known as living fossils. Why? Because we have just discussed in our first point that these are considered ad, as one of the most primitive or early forms of prokaryotes. So they are very importantly known as living fossils. Now one of the uses of these type of archibacteria is that they are used in the production of gober gas and also cellulose fermentation. So we know what is gober gas plants in which we actually give uh, put dead organic matter and waste materials which are fermented by these type of bacteria and it results in the formation of man manure and also gases which are used as fuel in our uh, daily uses. So in this video we have talked about a type of uh, Monera a king, in, of the kingdom Monera which is known as Archibacteria. We have also discussed some of the general properties of this kingdom Archibacteria. I hope you have understood the video. Thank you.